This right here is a sub $600 locker, and today we're gonna to install it in this Hilux, which is in my driveway. You see, at Ford of Action, we've always been about saving you guys money and getting further off road. This right here ticks all the boxes. So we're gonna ask the big questions, I suppose. Where should you put a locker? In the front of your vehicle or the rear of your vehicle? Which is gonna get you further off road? And how far off road will a locker actually get you? And the big question, how to install one of these in your driveway with basic hand tools so you can save a stack of money. And at the end of this, we're gonna show you exactly how far this Hilux will go. And you can show this in the driveway, but you see we've got the vehicle jacked up, it's on axle stands at the moment. Now if I spin one wheel, you'll notice that the other wheel isn't spinning, that's staying stationary. Now the problem off-road is, of course, when the, the dip isn't locked, you get one wheel in the air, all of the traction will go to that wheel that's in the air, and it'll start spinning, and you won't get any sort of forward progression. So installing a locker can be, bang for buck, probably the best mod you can do to get a vehicle like this further off-road. In my experience, a locker is a mod that'll make the most difference to your vehicle's off-road capability. It'll change your whole mindset with four-wheel driving. If you haven't got a locker, you look at the hill and think, how fast am I going to need to go to get up there? Which is going to lead to getting stuck or damaging your vehicle. With a locker, it's how slow can I walk up this? Now that you know why you need a locker, let's show you why we're fitting this sub $600 auto locker into the Hilux. Manual lockers are your factory, air and e-lockers, basically meaning that they can be engaged by flicking a switch in your four-wheel drive. Manual lockers give you great off-road performance. However, when you're locked, you lose steering. When you turn, both wheels have to travel at different speeds. One wheel rolls faster and does a big arc and one does a smaller arc. For this to happen, you need to send different amounts of drive to each wheel, hence the need for the diff. When it's locked, it's always a 50-50 split of the drive going to each wheel. This means it's much harder to turn, and in some cases, almost impossible to turn without doing damage to your driveline. They are also very expensive and complicated to fit, so you'll be up for more fitting costs as well. Auto lockers are essentially full-time locked, but due to the design and the camming and gearing in them, they'll automatically unlock to ensure that the vehicle can always steer correctly. There's a misconception out there that it does the opposite. Many think that the diff is unlocked until you lose traction, and then the auto locker engages under load. This isn't the case. Let's explain how the locker does this in more detail. It's quite clever. When you're in four-wheel drive and your wheels are pointed straight, the locker is engaged, so it's always locked. Um, pretty good when you're out in the tracks, really, because you don't have to think about it. The front's already locked and um, you're ready to drive anything. Now, as soon as you turn a corner, this is where it gets really clever. It's actually gonna disengage by itself um, automatically, hence the auto locker, right? So, you turn around a corner and this little gear set in here as you can see, it pushes back that way, depending on which side is turning faster than the other, i.e. going around a corner, and um, will actually disengage so you can turn a corner. Now, one of the biggest problems with um, a locker that's locked while you're trying to turn corners, where you can't really turn corners. This one here allows you to do the best of both worlds, to be able to turn when you need to, but when you keep those tires straight, it goes straight back into the locking position, and um, you're good to go. This means when you need your diff locked on the track, it will be, but as soon as you get on a hard surface, there's no wheel spin and you're turning corners, it automatically unlocks and it'll be like you're driving without a locker. We'll actually test this technology once a locker is installed, but the big reason we're going with the locker is the fact that it's nearly three times cheaper than the manual locker option, and you don't have to be a mechanical guru to fit one. We're installing this locker in the front of the Hilux, and we thought it'd be a great chance to bust some myths out there about front versus rear locker placement. A front locker, especially in an independent front suspension vehicle, will make way more of a difference off-road than a rear locker, and here's why. Anybody who has gone four-wheel driving in an IFS vehicle know they have very little wheel articulation and travel, especially down travel in the front. If you can't keep your wheels on the ground, you lose traction. Compare this to the rear, which has better articulation and will also have more weight on the back, especially climbing up a four-wheel drive challenge. Not having a locker means as soon as one front wheel loses traction, you're essentially driving up in two-wheel drive. The issues in the front can be overcome by having a locker. Even if you lift the wheel, the other is still driving. It has a far greater effect on your off-road capability fitting one in the front. The only vehicles you wouldn't put an auto locker in the front diff are full-time four-wheel drive vehicles like many 80 and 100 series Land Cruisers. However, you can get part-time lock-up kits on these to make them able to switch from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. Then a front auto lock-up would be great. The first myth is that a front locker will affect steering. This is true if you fit a manual locker in the front. 
As we explained before, the locker is essentially an automatic unlocker, meaning it'll be full-time locked on a four-wheel drive track until you want to steer, and then it'll unlock to allow you to steer. An auto locker in the front won't work all the time because the front diff is only working when it's in four wheel drive. When four wheel drive is disengaged, your wheels are freely spinning and completely disconnected to the drive of the vehicle and the locker is not working. If you put it in the rear, it'd be working all the time. Not that it's a problem because it'll still unlock around every corner, so you won't notice it and it won't be causing any damage. Okay, now we know all about the locker we're fitting and the reasons why we're putting it in the front, let's get to work and show you how easy they are to fit. Now we're not going to go into every little minute detail about how to fit a locker because actually it comes with some good instructions inside the box but you're going to get a general gist of how it all goes together. In front of me we've got all the tools we need and as you can see there's not that many really and um, it also if you can snag a mate to give you a hand well it's going to be so much more easy. So what do you reckon? You jump into that one, I'll get into the other side and um, we'll show you how easy it is to fit a locker into your vehicle. Here's all the tools you'll need. Most of them you'll have in your kit but the more specific tools you can pick up easily. What you're going to need is a torque wrench, screwdrivers, side cutters, pliers, allen keys, spanners and of course some sockets. So first up you want to jack the front of the vehicle up and secure it under axle stands. Then take the tyres off. Drain the oil from your front diff. Remove both front CVs. Then you'll be able to drop the whole diff assembly. Once the diff is split, it's time to install the locker. Once the locker is installed, you want to check the clearances and once you're happy with that, it's time to reassemble. Put the front diff housing back into place and secure tightly. Insert both axles and CVs into the assembly. And don't forget to fill the diff back up with oil. And just like that, you're basically done. Time to put the tyres back on and lower it off the jack stand and make sure those wheel nuts are done up very tightly. Okay, so we just finished installing that locker in this Hilux and um, we just want to test to make sure it's all working properly and I suppose it's a good opportunity to show you exactly how one of these lockers work. Now theoretically, if I turn this tyre, the other tyre is going to turn at exactly the same sort of speed. So I just turn this one, there you go. That front diff is locked. That is working like an absolute charm. Um, and to disengage the locker, so say you're turning around a corner, it's actually quite an easy and smooth process as well. So to demonstrate that, James, if I grab you, mate, and, um, and James holds that tyre. Now, theoretically, when I go to turn this one, it'll be able to just turn this tyre independently. That's the diff being unlocked. So I'll turn this one. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Couldn't perform any better. There we go. And you let go of that one. And then I'll just sort of spin that. And there we go. Look at that. Both of them turn at exactly the same rate. Now you've seen how smooth that process is, it's time to put this to the test and show you how capable it is off-road. Righto, we fitted the locker in half a day and now it's time to hit the same tracks and even some harder tracks we did without the locker to show you the difference.
Now for the hill climb. Notice with the no locker attempt, how hard he's driving the Hilux to get it up. And as soon as one wheel loses traction, it spins. That shows all the drive is going to that wheel and none to the wheel that's on the ground. With the locker installed, he approaches it completely different. Slow and steady, and he crawls up there. The points where he lost traction you don't even notice because the drive is going to both wheels. Here's where you see the full benefit of the locker, auto locker. So there's no doubt about it, any locker's gonna get you a lot further off the beaten track. But when it comes to value for money, how can you go past a sub $600 locker that you can install in your driveway with basic hand tools? Now, that ticks all the boxes from us. Now, hopefully you've learned something from this video, but if you've got any questions, of course, feel free to comment below because the guys at Full Drive Systems, now they're the guys behind, the guys actually make locker and they've got 25 years experience in the trade. So any question you might have about lockers, as technical as it is, put it in the comments below because those guys are actually gonna get on there and answer your questions for you. So we'll take this opportunity and say a big thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you around next time.